money is kept in perspective when you respect it for its true and correct function and place in the world, which is, that it is a tool used for the action of giving and receiving. You have heard it described as an energy exchange, and indeed, it is, yet this would be true of every exchange, it is true of speech and written communication, of a friend's hug, or a lover's smile, it is true of flowers left on a doorstep or a cooked meal placed before a guest in a home, there are many kinds of energy exchanges, and so, what sort of energy gets exchanged when money changes hands, you ask, and we would say, that depends entirely upon you, dear ones. The energy that is exchanged with money is several things, both of which you have powerful influence over. The first energy is the energy of money on your planet. This has not been a light or joyful energy. It still holds the density of many deaths, many lives spent toiling in overwork for a bare subsistence, over thousands of years. It is a vibration that holds the energy signature of the great banks and those who own and run them, and of the corrupt governments and self appointed royals whose representatives oversee those banks and the financial markets they play their games in. It is an energy of greed, aggression, and oppression, in other words, all of the things that Nezra law renders useless on the international economic level, as the big banks are dissolved, and with them, all the falsely created debt that billions live under each day. Then how can you call money good, you will ask, why would I even want to have anything to do with such a system? Because, dear ones, you are the light bringers, the way showers, the light warriors. It is your job to help usher in a new earth of fifth dimensional forms, and you cannot do that if you are hidden in a cave somewhere with no experience of third dimensional forms, including its many economic traps and corruptions. Your knowledge and experience of the old system, though it is quickly dissolving, is invaluable to the creation of the new money forms, including forms in business and banking starting with the fact that they will no longer be called banks, you are powerful enough to revise and uplift nearly any situation. Another powerful reason why most of you are not here to live separate from money is that in those moments when abundance energy is exchanged, whether in giving or receiving, there is the potential to experience the very magic of the universe itself. And what do we mean by magic? When we have just noted that humankind has long labored under the deceptions of the old order, and that your current money system is steeped in the very dense symbolism, intention, and despair of the powers that were, here is an idea, that almost no part of your education has ever allowed you to realize, you are powerful enough to revise and uplift nearly any situation, no matter how dense and low, or how fully steeped in another's contempt for humankind it may be. Purely by anchoring higher light and divine love into that situation, you are beyond powerful, in terms of your soul's ability to raise the vibration of anything intended for pain or oppression, so that it becomes instead, a boon to all who use it, and you may understandably wonder how you could ever learn such magic, and what amazing alchemist would be kind enough to show you how to transmute the lowest and densest of intentions and old earth structures, raising the energies within them to a level of compassion respect, honor, and even love, and we would say, that you know such a wise and learned guide, they are your own soul and higher self, it is your own divinity that has now taken you by the hand, to remind you of what you are capable of, to place the lightsaber in your hand, and to instruct you on how to use it, not to destroy a life, but to cut through the deception and service to self-orientation of the old system. Blessing money with your own high heart intention of divine love and light is a beautiful way to begin to raise the vibration of money all over the planet. Each time you have money in your hand, bless it and thank it for coming into your life. Send the energy of love, respect, and honor into those bills or coins, or check or digital transfer. Place your hand over it in a moment of blessing. Thank that amount for coming to you, and bless it as it leaves you, saying, Bless all you meet, friend. Be blessed, and multiply in the light, to serve many, as you give thanks both for the money and the use of it, in that moment you are putting money in the perfect perspective, you are saying, my money, you are a beautiful, helpful tool in my life, I have no need to judge or resent you, either for being in my life or not, or being in another's life, or not, I behold you in divine light, and I imbue you with divine light, may higher light and love be your essence. May service to others be your essence. I treat you with respect and wisdom, and I give thanks for your presence, always. In that moment, 
you are freed from feeling that money or lack of it has the power to determine how you feel about life. You are freed from feeling that money or lack of it has the power to make you do things you do not want to do, to trap you or others, or to free you or others. For indeed, money does not really have that power, though you have been taught that it does. You are in the process of freeing yourself from these old ideas. You are now free to quite correctly view money as a way to bless and aid your own life, and the lives of others. You are not owned by it, or any structure that worships it. It is your friend and ally, never your lord and master. While you are imbuing money with your good intentions to be kind and supportive of your own and other people's dreams and visions, you see it as a new earth tool, not an old earth oppressive presence. And so there are some old misconceptions, some old untruths to untie and release from your consciousness. And as you do so, you help to release and dissolve them from human consciousness. There is no way to be owned or controlled by anything that you bless and release to its highest function, to the higher good of all. You are in that moment detaching yourself from either needing or wanting. You no longer see this particular form of abundance as if it were perpetually separate from you. You are seeing it as constantly flowing in and out of your life at perfect levels, in a perfect balance of generous giving and joyful, thankful receiving. That is how your higher self views money, dear ones. And that is how, increasingly, your earth self is viewing money. And so what does true wealth and true abundance look like? This is something that, most interestingly, the developed countries are given great credit for being obsessed with, when in fact, it is the underdeveloped countries that far more likely grasp the idea of wealth in its fullest forms. For when your wealth comes down to family, friends, and community, when it comes down to appreciation of colorful, joyful rituals of music and dance, of a child's birth or the harvest time, or of complete appreciation of the earth and all her beauty, it is nearly impossible to miss wealth in its truest form, when you have paper money, and have been given the constant, highly programmed mandate to spend it and preferably, spend money you don't yet have, thereby going into debt for most of your life, you do not see wealth in its truest form. The exception would be those moments when the sheer beauty of life interrupts the ongoing work of earning that which you have been convinced you must have. Most of you have been strictly taught, in various ways, to always spend any money you receive, rather than keep it and allow yourself the feeling of being abundant, and too often, that which you were taught to acquire money for are the very things that separate you further from experiencing true wealth. For gadgetry and clothing you must be terribly careful of when wearing, and cars you must pay a goodly amount to insure, and a large home you must spend time and money cleaning and decorating and maintaining and insuring. These are not signs of true wealth, though you have been carefully trained to believe such. True wealth in your world is freedom, dear ones. True wealth is creating money and all other abundance from within, from the feelings and visualizations of the heart-mind. This is, as we have said, the process of creating from the feelings and visualizations of the heart-mind supported by the joyful expectation and inner knowing that that which you are creating is already yours in the higher realms. It is knowing that it is finding its way to you in the earth realm in ways that are for your higher good, and the good of all concerned. And so in releasing yourself from the idea that you need money to survive and must do certain things to obtain it, you free both money and yourself from the old earth perspective that money equals debt, which equals slavery. Finally, without even expecting it, you are free, and so a life of true wealth and abundance looks like pure light, abundant love, joyful service, and fulfillment. It looks like a belief in your own inherent right to abundance in all its forms, and your open, welcoming energy to receive it at any and all times. Your life of true wealth and abundance contains fulfilling work that feels more like play most days, in which your concentration and focus are complete, yet based in joy, not obligation. It offers you the opportunity to help build new communities based on mutual respect, communities that honor and care for each individual, without the drive for acquisition or status. It offers you the freedom to travel, to expand your creative gifts and abilities, to learn new ideas, to read wonderful books and have long conversations with those you admire or resonate with, to study with or be mentored by those who have attained mastery of subjects and skills that have always fascinated you. It is the freedom, in other words, to be your true and authentic self. Your life of true wealth and abundance is already within you, 
asking to come forward now, asking that you not only dream of it, but grasp it with both hands, living out your visualizations and checking in with your support team each day to ask, what is my next step? What is the most joyful thing I could do right now, to create more abundance, and to fulfill my life purpose? For we know you are more than capable of creating a world in which the only work that is done is positive contribution to community, to higher self, to earth or self, and to the universe, where money only changes hands as a way of saying, thank you, or I believe in you, or you are welcome here, friend, where debt does not exist, and deceptive financial practices do not exist, anywhere, on any level where the beauty of your soul shines through your every manifestation of the living spirit of abundance, and where you recognize, with joy, that every good thing you see, experience, and have is an expression of creator love for you, when you permit yourself the luxury of openly, unabashedly, fantasizing about what it is you truly yearn for, and dream of, you set into motion the energetic parameters for manifesting your heart's desire. Until you give free expression to the limitless vision you keep under wraps, you cannot, by definition, create it in your reality. When you operate your life from the mindset of unworthiness to have your heart's desire, when the thrust of your energy is not daring to ask for what you truly want out of fear of disappointment, that disappointment is virtually guaranteed. Were you to envision yourself in circumstances where your deepest longings were made manifest, without reservation and without compromise, you might begin to experience the radical shift in the circumstances of your life that would provide for you the very evidence that you do indeed create your life. Were you to dare to risk relinquishing the limitation-based thinking that keeps you anchored to the experience of disappointment in the areas that matter most to you, you might just experience a glimpse of liberation from those patterns. And were you to take the blind leap needed to catapult yourself out of your energetic rut entirely, you might find yourself able to circumvent a good measure of the repetition of events that are the norm in this process. That blind leap is one that is taken not within the confines of your mind, but is sourced within the depths of your heart of hearts. For the leap in faith comes not in one's denial, or one's repression, of the fear of the void that is virtually universal. The leap in faith comes of daring to face the void and know it for the manifestation of the illusion of separation that it, in fact, is. In order to transcend this, the ultimate fear, the fear that one is actually alone in this odyssey called life, it is necessary to surrender totally to that fear, by consciously choosing, in one's darkest hour, to reject the vision of hopelessness that appears inevitable, and to choose instead a knowingness that the outcome will reflect your highest possible good, you open the doorway within to the place of loving trust that will lead you home. This blind leap in faith has been spoken of throughout time immemorial, and is known by every culture throughout your planetary history. What is called for is not bravery and heroism in that moment of truth, but total detachment. A level of surrender is called for that has released all attachment to outcome. This level of surrender is achieved when one stands on the very edge of one's gravest fear and knows, in that moment, that there is nothing to fear. Embrace yourself, in these times, and acknowledge yourself for the extraordinary progress you were making, as a soul, in every waking moment, by consciously shifting one's intent to one of conscious allowance of the manifestation of the highest good of the collective, one enhances the opportunity to manifest the brightest possible outcome for oneself. There are quantum leaps in vibration and in the consciousness that accompanies it, and there are setbacks, as one is given opportunity upon opportunity to apply the understandings attained, until the concepts are internalized, not as newfound knowledge but fully integrated as knowingness. This is the time to imagine what life might be like, if you were able to manifest what you really want. How would you orchestrate your life if there were no limit to what you were able to have or do? If you could start again at the very beginning, or anywhere in between, how would your story read? How would your journey end? That is a good place to begin. And remember always, three are the dwellings of the sons and daughters of man. Thought, feeling and body. When the three become one, you will command this mountain to move, and the mountain will move. Not only can we create a new, loving, liberated, and joyous relationship with money, we can also create a new monetary system that resonates with that intention. A monetary system that keeps money in perspective of its true and correct function and place in the world. A monetary system that is decentralized, autonomous, and debt-free. 
a monetary system that ensures equal access to opportunity for all mankind, worldwide. Thank you for having watched this video. This video is part of the New Money Revolution video series, which takes you through the consciousness revolution and the monetary revolution we need to undergo to finally enjoy true freedom and abundance, true wealth, both personally as individuals and globally as the united citizens of Earth, in ways that are harmonious and healing to the planet and the environment. This series has 12 videos in total. Please make sure you watch all of them, in the right order. Thank you. Please share these videos as far and as wide as possible. This is a consciousness revolution, first and foremost. It is a change of mind, and a change of heart. And it only works when the idea spreads far and wide. The more you share these videos, the more this new reality manifests. This is your revolution, and your participation is very important. We need at least 33 million people to watch these videos for them to reach a tipping point. Critical mass whereby these ideas begin to take a life of their own in the collective consciousness of Earth. So please do share them as much as possible, everywhere you can think of sharing them, and feel free to download your own copy, too, for offline viewing and safekeeping. Thank you. Please help us translate the subtitles and captions for these videos into other languages. It is very easy to do, using YouTube's community translation page. We have already added the English subtitles and captions to these videos. So all you have to do is type in the translated words and the subtitles and captions and YouTube will automatically handle all the technical stuff. It is all very easy. Simply translate the words. We have provided the translation link below in the video description. Thank you. All these videos have been subtitled with closed captions. This makes it easier for you to follow along. To see the subtitles, please click on the CC button on the video. As more people translate these videos, the subtitles will become available in multiple languages. To complement these videos and launch you into rapid success and a deeper understanding of the new earth consciousness, we also have the following free, illustrated, multimedia PDFs for you. To download yours free, simply click on the download now free button, and you will have instant access to them. And if you wish to master these concepts in and fast, easy and entertaining yet enlightening way, have a look at our courses. We have 38 courses and growing, some of which are free, and some of which come with a free trial. They literally are mind-blowing, yet effective and practically useful in your life today. To start your free trial, simply click on the free trial button, and you will have instant access to them. If you haven't watched the rest of the videos in this series, please go ahead now, and remember to share them. Thank you very much for your time, and we wish you a very great day.